we don't feel that that pump operator should get on scene, put a truck in park, throw it in the pump gear, enable the system and walk away. That That's not what this is designed to do. But we understand that in today's environment, the fire scene is very confusing. Uh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot more that we're asking our people to do. We're, we're in a defensive posture a lot of times with, with traffic around us, with other things going on. So if we can make the pump operator's job a little simpler and allow him to help out in other areas, that's terrific. Him, him charging a line and jumping on a, a backup position on that line and going into a building, probably not the safest operation in the world. There's so many things to worry about outside. Where's the water coming from? Are we switching sources? What else is going to come up? Is there a second line I need to deploy? And let's face the facts. What's the safety factor out there today? Uh, is it unheard of for someone to come up and try and steal our rig? Unfortunately, no. Uh, we need to we need to be vigilant about that type of thing. So what ACE can do for a pump operator, some of the automation that's in there are simple things. Let's think about a typical scenario when you go on scene. So you get on scene, you get the truck and pump, they deploy, say, our inch and three quarter attack line, they go in, they start to make an interior attack. We're probably operating off of pump water at this point. Now someone establishes a supply from a hydrant. So we got to switch over to hydrant. ACE makes it very simple. You push and hold a button that says hydrant. When you've made the switch, the system prompts you. It says, okay, you've made the switch to hydrant mode. Where do you want to bring it in from? It, it can't read your mind. You've probably got multiple places on the rig where you can bring water in from. Let's say I'm going to bring it in from the officer side suction. One touch on a button, open the officer side suction. It's automatically going to open it slowly. So it's following NFPA, it's not giving us a water hammer. But now when the system detects there's water in the rig, everything's flowing, life is good, it's gonna look in the background. What's the first thing that we should do if we're an experienced pump operator? Get that tank filled back up just in case I lose that water source. That's where ACE can take some of that off of the pump operator's hands. So now the system's looking and saying, okay, the tank was down to 30% capacity. Let's start filling it, but let's not just open our tank refill line fully because then we're gonna steal water from our attack line. So let's crack it a little bit.